Yo guys, so I want to show you how you get a really cool setup like I have on my Windows 10 desktop. So all this is doable thanks to a couple modifications that I'm going to take you through right now. So just so you know, I'm going to breeze through this right now, but I'll have the full tutorial over my website. So definitely check that out. So the first thing I did was applied a custom theme. Before you do this, make sure you make a restore point because something could end up breaking and something might end up breaking. And keep in mind, this is changing Windows files, so a future update could break this. So with that said, let's first try applying this Hadoa theme. So I go and first download the theme patcher. And again, I'll provide all these links over my website. Once you download the theme patcher, go and run it and then reboot your computer. Now when you reboot your computer, you might get this weird like frazzled screen that comes up. I got it first. If that happens, don't worry, just reboot your computer again. So once you get back into your desktop, you can go and download Sadoa theme, and then you can unzip the theme file, and we're gonna put the files matching your corresponding version of Windows. Now I'm gonna tell you I did cheat a little bit, this, the Sadoa theme is not compatible with Windows 1803 officially. However, I still applied a 1708 update to 1803 and nothing broke. So, you know, I think it should be fine. But don't take my word for it. Make a system restore point. So anyway, copy the theme files to your C Windows Resources Themes folder. And finally, go and download the icon pack. Once you download the icon pack, you have to rename the file for an EXE extension. Then you can run it like any normal app. And finally, once you reboot, you should have a fresh new set of icons. And then if you right click and go to personalize and go to themes, you should have the theme that you installed, the Sadoa theme, you can apply it and it should be all ready to go. So like I said, applying it definitely takes a couple of steps and it does change some of those files, but you have this nice looking theme. Including Sadoa theme, I tried another theme. It's a dark theme from Devian Art, and it also looks really good. It is a paid theme, but I'll still link it in the links below if you want to check it out. And it looks cool. Now I will say that the next version of Windows, the next big update, is going to have a black theme with it. So it might not be worth paying for a black theme right now, but if you still want to try it out, it's definitely really cool and looks really neat. Now, let's talk about those widgets on my desktop. I use an app called RainMeter. So with RainMeter, you can find tons of cool widgets that you can just add to your desktop. Things like system resources, disk usage, even the time and weather and all that fun stuff. It's really cool, very simple to set up. There's a whole subreddit for RainMeter that you can find cool widgets and cool customizations. Definitely check it out and go and uh, download some cool things. Now finally, getting to that app launcher that's on my desktop. That is also by RainMeter. It's a RainMeter skin that you can also download. And what you do is you can go and choose your individual apps that you want and you can drag them to your desktop and drag the position down there. And when you hover your mouse over each individual icon, it'll open up in a sliding position. It's really cool, and what I like about this is like this does not change any of your system settings. Unlike what we did earlier, doing anything with RainMeter and this launcher that I have on the side does not affect your system settings at all, so you can use it without having to worry about it breaking or causing some other problems. So guys, that's a quick look at how I have my desktop customized. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'll also link the wallpaper if you're interested, so I'll put that in the description as well, so definitely check it out. Uh, if you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.